it's hard to put into words sometimes. Uh, all the all the thought that had to go into a complex system like this 86 years ago. The 423, yeah. Uh, just shows you how far ahead they were with their thinking and how trains move in and out of Union Station corridor. There is a difference between uh, the digital age and what we have here. So let's walk through establishing a route. Each number on the indication board directly corresponds to a lever. So I've cleared the 326 signal. Uh, and now, as you can see, it's locked up all the switches in that route. So in this case, it will go from the 326 all the way up to the 412 into track 11. I like to say it's the steering wheel behind the train. What's happening is a signal is being transferred from the tower out to the field that are physically moving the track back and forth. There's a little bit of power that is generated from the switch motor that's sent back to the tower. The two clicks, you hear that and you, see, you quickly look at your amp meter. The amp meter is telling the train movement director that the switch is not obstructed by anything. So there's a lot of inputs that are being taken in by the TMD. This tends to just become second nature after a while. It, it is fascinating, right? Uh, the way it was all engineered and came together, it is definitely one of the last remaining interlockers in North America.